um, add in fractions, subtracting fractions, multiplying and dividing fractions. Yes? Right? You're familiar with that concept? Yes. Yes. BW? Yes? Yes. Come in? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. All right, cool. So the first one we're going to start with is adding fractions. And if we were supposed to use, can you give me an example? Two fractions. Any two fractions? Two of four. So you want two of a four. And give me another one, somebody. Mm. Any fraction. I mean, uh, uh, any fraction. Uh, uh, <laughs> one over two. Six, six over ten. Okay, so we're going to take six over ten, right? Here you go. So we're adding both of these fractions. What do you notice? They don't have the same go ahead. denominator. They don't have the same denominator, right? So what do you suggest that we do? Okay, so, so what are you multiplying? Okay, so you're trying to find a common what? Okay, so you have to find a common denominator. And you are saying just go ahead and do 2 plus 6. Why can't we do 2 plus 6? What's wrong with it? Feel free to help him. <laughs> huh? It doesn't have the same denominator. So you can't start to add anything across, right? It's almost like you decide that you want to add, um, sorry, um, bread with milk. It just don't mix, right? But if you wanted butter, like, that would be kind of similar. So if I got the same denominator, then it'd be a stop, right? So what's the common denominator that you can use for 4 and for 10? 2. Okay? But if I put 2 here, it's, small. it's too small, right? So what's another denominator that I could potentially use? Can I use 4? Okay, so you want me to use 4. But can I have 10 go into 4? No. no. No, right? So what's another denominator I could use? Five. Five. No. Okay. But no, no, when you go home, home. what I want you to think about is that you have four and you have ten. You want a denominator, which is a multiple, right, of both four and ten. So what are some multiples of four? And then we could just write them on the side. What are multiples of four? What's four times one? What's a four? Okay. What's four Eight. times two? Twelve. Okay. So, so we we on a roll. So let's stop right there for one second, right? What are some multiples of 10? 10, 10, 10, 10, 30, 20, 10. okay, 30. And you can keep going, right? If I was supposed to keep going with the multiples of four, what number would they both have in common? Eight. No, 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 no. But is there an eight on the side where you have the multiples of 10? No, right? Do you think we need to figure Oh, I know. Three. It's 20. Okay. So would you? So what times four would give you twenty? Four times six. Four, no. Five. No, 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 no. Go ahead. What's five times four? Yeah. Oh, so five yeah. times four is twenty, oh. right? So thank you. What I want you to understand is that don't doubt yourself. Like I tell y'all this all the time. Like if you feel like you know something, you know it. So just say it. like, don't go um. Well, no. I think. I, th I thought I was saying like four times. Which I get, but then Travis also jumped in and said something, and then you thought for a second that you were wrong, but you were actually right, all right? So we say 20, because we have 20 as a multiple of 4, but we also have 20 as a multiple of what? 10, right? Thank you, Kia. So we will put our 20 where? At the bottom. At the bottom here, right here, okay? So we put our 20 right there in the center, and then what do I do? Um, what am I adding? The two, the two. Four and ten. The two okay. Nine. So look at it. You now have a common denominator, right? It's 20, right? And then you have four and you have 10. So now both of those are now 20. Now what do I do? Am I just going to add two plus six? Because now the denominator is what? Is it bigger or smaller? Do you have to so now you're going to try to figure out how many times can I get this particular denominator out of this denominator. Does that sound like it makes sense to you? Okay, so if I was supposed to say how many times can I get four things out of 20 things? 
You have 20 bucks. I want four dollars. And each time I come to you and I say I want four dollars, how many times have I come to you? Five. Okay, five times, right? Because what's four times five? Twenty. So then you go ahead and you multiply your numerator by what? Five. five. By five. Right? So what's two times five? Ten. Ten. Right? So now this fraction two over four has now become the fraction ten over what? Twenty. Twenty. Right? So now, what am I saying where this 10 is concerned? What am I saying? Two. No, but is it? Two. But how you got two? You just pick that out of thin air. How you got two? Mm -hmm. 10? No, 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 no. You got to walk me through this. How you got two? I'm not saying you're wrong. You yeah. are right, but you got to tell me how you got it. I didn't say. Yeah, I, <laughs> I worry about you. How many times, how, how did you get two? I was just about to give you the answer for two seconds. No. Oh. And Kia noticed it. Jonah, how he got two? Exactly. So that's what he did. He found out how many times can I get 10 into 20. Right, Travis? Mm -hmm. Right, Travis? Mm -hmm. Right, Travis? Mm -hmm. Right, Travis? Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. So how many times can I get 10 into 20? Two. two. So I'll go ahead and I multiply my numerator by two, right? So what's six times 12. two? Twelve. Twelve. Twelve right? over twenty. So now you have two fractions. You have ten over twenty. Twenty-two. Over and you 20. also have now you just jump in, right? So let's erase the multiples off this side so we can have some more space. Let's call it the L. Okay. So now we have the same what? Pause. Denominator. Denominator. Right? So now we have the same denominator. And then 10 plus 12 gives me what? 22. Gives me 22. And this is now 22 over what? 20. 20. 20. Oh. But what kind of fraction is this? Oh. Improper fraction, right? Because what? Because the denominator, the denominator is smaller than the numerator. Exactly, and vice versa. So we know that the denominator is smaller than the numerator. But what I want us to do if you were supposed to turn this into another type of fraction, what type of fraction would it become? Mm. You don't want it to be improper, right? But can you just decide to get a smaller number by itself just like that? It can be a regular fraction. Okay, but how do you get it into a regular fraction? Divide. Divide what? Divide by... So we know if we add 2 over 4 and 6 over 10, we're going to add it and we're going to get 22 you over 20. divide by 5. Okay. How are you dividing by 5? Can I erase this? Yes? Okay. You got to see how many. Hold on. Wait, relax. All right, right back. I have 22 over 20 and I want to turn it into a proper fraction. Simplify. Okay, so I could simplify, right? But if I even simplified it down, let's try your way of simplifying. You divide, divide by five. Okay, but can I get um, five out of 22 without leaving a remainder? Uh -huh. No, I'm gonna have a remainder of what? No, it ain't five. Two, I'm gonna have a remainder of two, right? So we can't necessarily use that, here you go, thank you. It's two. So you, we can use two, so do you wanna try two? Sure. Okay, so sure. So 22 divided by two, Right? And then 20 divided by 2. Okay. Right? So 22 divided by 2 11. gives us what? 11. 11. Right? 11. And then 20 divided 10. by 2, 10. Right? Is this now a proper fraction? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Is it a proper fraction? Look at it. You have 11 over 10. No. No. no, no, no. It's, it's not. not. It's right? It's still, it's still what? It's still no, because the denominator is bigger than the... Uh, is the denominator bigger? No, the no. denominator is smaller. The denominator is smaller. So I guess what I'm trying to drag your memory, have you ever heard of the term a mixed number? Mm -hmm. And what's a mixed number look like? Um, number two. Sure. A mixed yeah. number. Go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go. Another number Girl, you in front of a what? A fraction? Yes, that's exactly what it is. 
So for example, give us an example, because you got it right. So that's what a mixed number looks like. So what's an example? Four. Four. Two, no, two. Eight. Pause. One second. Five over ten. Five over ten. Okay? That's a mixed number. Four and five over ten is a mixed number. Do y'all see that? I'm going to just close that down. Because Jonah just helped us out and figured out what a mixed number is.